Hey, it's Betsy here from As We Go, and we're back at the Galveston Naval Museum with our friends Tom and Stacy of RV Texas, y'all. And we invite you to go with us as we go and check out the USS Stewart. And welcome aboard the USS Stewart, a World War II destroyer escort with a good history behind her. But first off, she was actually built just up the waterway here in Houston, so she's a local girl. When we first got on board, we made our way aft. The Stewart had over 30 missions out in the North Atlantic in addition to serving as uh, President Roosevelt's escort when he went across the Atlantic. So like I said, she's got a great history. First thing we stopped and checked out were the K-guns. They have eight of these guys on board and this is how they launched the, the depth charges when they were out watching for those uh, German U-boats. We continued our way aft. also known as towards the stern, and out on the aft deck, that is where they stored all the extra depth charges there and the racks that you see located at the stern. We also had a delightful view from up there. There's another shot of those storage racks for the depth charges, and a look up the waterway. After we spent some time there on the aft deck in the shadow of that deck gun, we then made our way around to an open hatch and began to explore the interior of the steward, at least the areas that were open for the public. Just a nice shot down the aisleway there before Chris led our intrepid little band of explorers through that initial hatch. That's Stacy following him, then it was me with Tom bringing up the rear. And as we made our way down, we saw some storage spaces and some areas that were close to the public, like uh, the latrines. They're still under restoration. And one of the things you'll notice coming up here on the right are the sinks. Good old basic olive drab, yes, but they have got three spigots on them. Hot, cold, and the center one was actually for the drain. And the Stewart was named for Charles Stewart, who uh, lived from 1778 to 1869. It was a Navy officer, commanded several ships, including the Constitution, saw a lot of uh, active duty, and later he was able to retire as Rear Admiral. And it's time for down the hatch, literally. We uh, took this hatch to get down to the next deck. So one floor down, one deck down. That put us down into the crew's mess. And some of the shots I noticed wearing the GoPro and a chest thing eh, had its pluses, had its minuses. As you can see, a mess was typically set up kind of cafeteria style. They would grab their tray, go down the line, eat their chow. And believe it or not, Tom spotted this one real quick. Hey folks, they had an ice cream maker. And from the crew's mess, we made it into crew's quarters. Yeah, you can see there's not any wasted space in that room. And then we were just in time to get a little history lesson. Staff of the Cold War embarked on a secret crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Can see it? The USS Stewart is, is chosen to escort President Roosevelt across the Atlantic Ocean. Because the USS Stewart, this ship at the time, has the state-of-the-art anti-submarine warfare devices on board. There's a magnificent sonar room, two compartments back down below, where two sailors used to don here and protect, or not here, but they with their earphones to listen, to passively listen for enemy signatures underwater. 
and of course it has the hedgehog system that's a core on the forecastle, and then the steward is equipped with massive depth chargers back after the fan tail. Back out the way we came? Yeah, I think so. Well, looks like it since they're all labeled no entry. The easiest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was cool. Yeah, yeah that was uh, that was a bonus there. Yeah. Yeah. Then we got to learn more about the sun. Yeah, which made it nice. Yeah. Ooh. Don't hit your head. <laughs> yes, do watch your head coming up back there. Whoa. Can't believe that wasn't Stacy that did that. <laughs> Whew. I meant to say it as I ducked. Yeah. Stay ducked, honey. Well, the next space we found ourselves in um, proved to be officer's country. And we did get a chance to kind of walk around one of the day rooms or a chart room, not sure which it was. They did have it set up that we could get a glimpse at least at some of the officers' quarters there. And of course, officers do get a little bit more elbow room on board ship than do the enlisted men. Once we finished an officer's quarters, we uh, made our way back outside to continue our exploration by going on up ladder to check out another section of the deck. At least here, there wasn't anything for me to hit my head on. I hope. The level we found ourselves on proved to be where the bridge was located. Made our way around the bend and found ourselves with a delightful view it's pretty cool seeing the Carnival Valor go by. Don't get a great view like that very often. And of course, we got to spot some dolphins playing out in Galveston Bay. They're pretty hard to catch a picture of, and I'm glad I had a good zoom lens. Peeking into the porthole there, we got to come around and get a glimpse of the bridge. At least part of it. Too bad it was close to the public. That would have been neat to have gotten inside of, but restoration and protection of items, yeah. After we saw the bridge, we made our way back down the ladder to the next deck. That we pretty well covered her. I think so, yeah. Give me a little bit for you. Okay. Sure. Yep, yeah, we can go down and then, uh... I guess you're technically supposed to go down. This way, maybe? I don't know. I, you know, it... It's not not you when you have that in your hand like that. I think they went down front way and... See, the rails were made that they didn't even, when they were in a I hurry, the they lifted they their just, feet and yeah, they... Boy, and they jumped, yeah. yeah. Unless we want to go up forward. Yeah, want to go up forward? Sure. Did we do no, this level forward. forward? I don't think we did. Move ahead. It's not too late to whip it. <laughs> well, we continued our way up forward on what I think was the forecastle deck, based on the fact that that is where the hedgehogs lived. These hedgehogs were a defensive system, sort of like mortars that would fire in rapid-fire sequence. And that's Ross Garcia again explaining it to Chris. And well, I hope you folks enjoyed this quick tour of the Stewart. Um, it was fun editing down those two hours of footage. But seriously, it was a great time. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up, and we hope you'll give us a subscribe as well. Thanks again for coming along with us, and who knows, as we go, maybe we'll see you on the road. Take care and safe travels.